Hello guys, welcome back to Patrick TV GH. This is your savings tutor, Mr. Patrick Van Abankwa. It's been a while since we came your way with another edition. We are blessed to come your way once again with another educative edition on Patrick TV GH. Today we are going to look at four critical things that an investor should consider before you put your savings into any investment vehicle. Before we go into today's discussion, I want to thank our sponsors at Dome City Estates and New Executive International School. We want to take a, a quick commercial break from Adam City Estate and we'll be right back. Hello guys, welcome back from the commercial break. Um, this is still your savings tutor, Mr. Patrick Ma. Um, today we are going to look at four critical areas that you should consider when you want to invest your savings. Before we even talk about investing your savings, let me just go over what savings is. Savings is basically that portion of your income that you decide not to spend now, but keep it for a later date. That's the basic explanation of what savings is. So when you hear people say, I can't save. What you are saying is that you just want to spend all your income today. The moment you decide to put a portion of that income for a future purpose, that uh, portion that you place is what we call savings. And it's very critical that we all see its importance because you and I know that there are a lot of things that we plan to achieve and to do in future. It's therefore important that we place a portion of our income, no matter how small it is, into an investment vehicle that will yield for food and give you that money back in future. When you keep the money at home, with the excuse of uh, uh, banks uh, uh, not paying your money when you need it, there's a greater risk if you decide to keep the money at home. It is therefore important that you develop the habit of keeping your money with the bank. One, it helps you to be calculative in whatever you do. It also helps you to develop a credit rating with the bank. You never know. Tomorrow, you might need help from the bank. But if you don't have any record with the bank, the bank will not be in a position to assist you. So it's therefore important that we see the agency with the savings that we've been talking about. If you keep on saving, savings, as I said, is a gradual process. You don't create wealth in a day. And I agree that savings alone cannot also get you to the top. That is why today I want to discuss the four things that you need to consider when you want to push your savings into an investment vehicle. Invest investment here, yeah, I mean, either you want to go to the money market, i.e. treasure bill, you want to buy fixed deposit, commercial paper, or you want to go to the stock, the bonds, or even you want to start your own business. Any of these investments that you want to push your savings into, there are four critical things that you need to consider. One, which is very crucial and people always forget about the one, a safety of the investment. There's no point in following after returns when the investment that you are pushing your savings in is too risky. You need to consider the safety of that investment. Safety here means where are you taking the money to? Who are the people managing the, the, the place that you are taking your money to? How secured are you when you take your money to that place? It is not only about returns. The first thing you need to always consider when you want to invest it's not returns, it's safety. Because if I invest and I get 10% every year, it's better than when I chase after 15%, 20% and I invest and I don't get anything. So safety of the investment is the first thing you need to consider. No matter what kind of investment you are looking at, whether you want to start 
a transport business, whether I want to build your house, consider the safety. If it's a house, the land you are going to buy, what are the issues around the land? If it's a car that you want to buy, what's the condition of that car? Have you, are you doing insurance? These are the things that we talk about when you say the, the safety of the investment. The next thing we also want to consider, which is critical, is that what's the tenor of the investment? Are you, are you willing to go for three months, six months, one year, two years, ten years? The tenor or duration of the investment is tied to the purpose of that investment. Ask yourself, why am I investing this amount into this instrument? Am I investing because I foresee myself getting married in three years' time, so therefore I want to go for a three-year investment? By which time when it matures, I'll use that money to get married. Is that the, the, the purpose? Or just want to keep your money there for just three months to pay your child's school fees? These decisions will determine whether you have to go for a three-month investment, one year, two years, five years. So it's important that we choose the right duration when it comes to investment. Don't do, take a duration because a friend is doing the same. The purpose and the focus of your friend might be different from yours. It's therefore important that you look at the duration and look at it well. Because obviously, even in Ghana, the rate for a 91-day treasury bill is not the same as 182-day treasury bill. So you have to consider all these things and choose a duration that will help you. The next thing you also need to consider which is critical, is how easily will it be if you want to convert your investment into cash. So if you are someone that will be needing the money, let's say in a year's time, and you decide to go and buy a land as an investment uh, 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 option, how quickly can you sell the land in one year to use the money, the fiscal cash for whatever you want to achieve or want, want to establish as, as a person? You need to consider that how easily is it to convert the investment instrument into cash if you need it? So some may decide to just go for treasury bill, fixed deposit, where they can easily liquidate it when they need be. You need to consider all these things. So once again, what we are talking about is the purpose of the investment. The purpose of the investment will determine, once again, whether you should go for a vehicle or an investment a product that will take a while before you convert it to cash or otherwise. The final, which is also very important, which most of us put our minds to, is the returns on the investment. I'm putting it as the last for an obvious reason. The return on investment is good, but it should not be the primary thing that we should focus our minds on. I said in the, in, in the, at the beginning that we need to consider the safety. If the safety of the investment is assured, then now we begin to look at the returns. So assuming I have three or four options in terms of investment and they are all secured, then I'll begin to look at what to wait is option A giving me as against option B. Then begin to look at it and prove further. So for example, if treasury bill is giving you 14% and a bank, a investor bank is giving you 16%, and we all know that between the two, the security, even though uh, treasury bill is, is more secured than the investor bank, you also know that the investor bank is also a bit secured. So therefore, you may consider the two and say that because they are all secured, I will go for the 15. But not when the one is not secured and you still want to go for it because the interest is high. These are the things you need to consider. If you don't consider this and you only go after a higher interest rate, chances are that when your investment matures, you'll be tossing, going to the bank, and you'll still not be getting your money because the weight of your investment should not be taken out of context. There are a lot of things that goes into the calculation of investment returns, and it's important that we consider it. In our next session, I'm going to take my time and show you how rates on investment, i.e. treasury bill and fees deposit, are calculated. But for now, I want you to consider these four things, the safety, the duration, how you can easily convert your investment into cash, and the returns. These are the four things that we should consider when you want to invest your hard-earned savings. I believe you have enjoyed our session this evening. I humbly ask that you subscribe to our channel on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. We'll be back again next week.